Hello everyone, this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recording. Today we are going to build my note-like application using React. All the link used inside this video and code are mentioned inside the description box. First, we need to install React using create react script as inside your terminal type npx create react app and the directory name you want to install inside. We are passing current directory using dot. So as our create react app has been created, now let's type yawn start inside the terminal. And here our app has been started. Now let's dive into the code. First, we need to remove all the boilerplate from app.js file. Then remove all the pre-styling from app.css file. Now create a component folder inside the source folder. Before starting, we need to add a React Flow render package to module. To do so, inside the terminal type command yawn add React Flow render. As a package is downloaded, now create file inside the components folder as node.component.jsx. Inside a file, first import React from React. Then import React Flow from React Flow Renderer. Then create a function component called as MindNote which return our view. Inside return create a fragment. We need to import fragment from the React library. Inside a fragment, create a h1 tag and type hello world. After creating our components, we need to export our files as export default mine node. Then inside our app.js file, we need to import our components mine node. Then inside our app class, we need to type our mind node component. And here you can see that our component is up and running. And let's open our mind node. For filling our data, we need to create initial elements which is a type of array.
Inside it, we need to pass our object as ID type Data object will have node as initial element name. Then pass the position object which will have the x and y axis as 0. Then create a react float tag inside a fragment. Pass our initial element as elements which will have type of object. Then we need to style our React Flow component to have width of 100% and height of 90 view height. Now open a browser, here you can see that a node has been appeared. Now let's add functionality to add new node. To do so, first we need to create an input element and button. Then we need to bring some more feature from React Flow Renderer to bring more enhancement to our app. We need to import background, control and minimap. Inside our React Flow components, add Control and Minimap. Minimap tag will require to color distinction object for our nodes. We need to pass node color and pass color for different tags. And here you can see that a mini map and control has been appeared. Now let's change our background inside the React flow. We need to add background tag inside it. We need to pass color and gap.
So here you can see that a background has been appeared. Now let's add new node. For adding new node, we are using React hooks. So inside our import react statement, we need to require use state. Then we need to create our elements and set elements which will use state of initial elements. Then we need to handle our input text element. So we need to create another hook which will name and set name and its initial state will be empty. Now inside our input text tag, we need to add on change function which will help to set our text value to the name state. Then inside a button, we need to create a click functionality which refers to add node function. Then inside our add node function, we need to set our set element hook and concatenate our initial element array. We need to pass id data and position as arguments. Then inside our data, we need to pass label which will have our name or we can say our input text. For making connection or linking with each node, we need to import add edge from the React Flow renderer library. We can also load our node to look big using on our load function and add on load inside the React Flow tag. This will calculate our entire within height and center of our node. Now let's connect our node to each other. 
First, we need to create a connect function which will require params as parameter and then using a set elements hook, we can add add edge inside function inside our element. Inside our react flow tag, we need to pass on connection function. We can also set our line look, line width and color and also add snap functionality. Now just save our code and head up to our browser. Here you can see our node is working. Now let's create a new node. Now add connection between both nodes using their edge. We can also try to create as many elements we want and link between each other. So this is how we can create a mind node like application and can add more functionality inside this application. Head up to GitHub page of React Flow Renderer to learn more. I hope you liked our video. Do like our video and subscribe to our channel. For now, I am signing off. We'll see you in the next video.